what's up guys welcome back to my channel i am all decked out for christmas i'm so excited there's a little sneak peek of the disney tree behind us that is going to be another video so quit looking behind me but today we are talking about my harry potter tree and this is the first time i've ever done harry potter christmas decorations kind of hard to believe right honestly did not go as planned not even a little bit but I do really like how it turned out. It actually turned out way better than I thought it was going to. I initially, we have like a little four foot tree and I wanted to use that and have it maybe like propped up on a trunk that I have. So I get the four foot tree out and there's no bottom to it. So there's no way for the tree to stand up. I'm like, well, poop, what am I gonna do now? So Chad and I are talking about getting a new tree and I'm thinking, you know what, we have this white tree, this white Christmas tree, this very sparse looking tree, um, but maybe we could do something with it. So I bring down the white tree and I'm just, I'm very, I'm excited with how it turned out. Right over here. So uh, here is a little tour of my Harry Potter Christmas tree that I thought I was going to wind up hating and that I actually love like a lot. So here is the whole setup in its entirety. I'll just kind of do a little pan for you guys before we get into the details. Again, I'm, I'm obsessed. I really like how it turned out and I'm just, I'm surprised because I didn't think with the white tree being so sparse, I was going to like it. Um, so we'll just start from the top here. So our tree topper is Dumbledore's hat. We've got some Spectra Specs. And then sticking out right here is Narcissa Malfoy's wand. And then over here, we have Luna Lovegood's wand. I get these wands on eBay, guys. They're like $3 and they're really nice. So super recommend. Shipping will take you forever and a day, but for $3, I mean, can't really beat it. And then we've got this little Harry Potter ornament here. And around the side, we've got the Gringotts Bank ornament. This is actually from Kohl's this year. So if you guys want this, I'm sure you can still find it. I think it's a Hallmark ornament. Have the Elder Wand sticking out here. The Hogwarts Express. Down here, we have a Horcrux, a Pygmy Puff. We've got Hagrid. Um, down here is a party invitation that you guys might remember that I got. It was like an actual Hogwarts letter. It was so cool. So I stuck it into the tree. I have my chocolate frog, uh, the Ravenclaw diadem, and Harry's glasses. These are also both from Wish for very cheap. My time turner necklace. We've got uh, the card from the chocolate frog, which I got Helga Hufflepuff. McGonagall's wand. And then um, this teacup that I had made with the Grimm inside. Of course, we have all of the Hogwarts house scarves that I got from my trips to Universal, just kind of serving as like the ribbon that goes around the tree. And then down here, I have a little cauldron. <laughs> this is actually from Halloween. And I put Beetle the Bard in it. This tree skirt is a blanket that I just already had laying around. I have my little toad, little Trevor that I got uh, from Michael's during Halloween. And then over here is like the little Hogwarts style setup. So I wanted to use this trunk initially. And when I put everything on top of it, there was a, like way too much space. So I had had these old suitcases that I've thrifted. Don't ask me why. I have no idea why I bought these now. Um, I'm sure I had some project in mind but I could finally use them after them just like laying around forever. So I layered the suitcases on top of the trunk cause I thought that looked kind of like going to Hogwartsy. Put this faux sheepskin from Ikea on top of it. And then we've got my copy of Fantastic Beasts, this Hogwarts castle toy that I've showed you guys in previous videos. Um, this little Harry Potter book and all of my Potter books. You can see how well loved they are. My owl, this Nocturne Alley sign I got at a convention. And then of course my <laughs> have you seen this witch picture frame from the wizarding world so i do eventually want to make some ornaments and add to this tree so hopefully i get around to it this year i feel like this harry potter tree is just begging for some good diys you know in the comments down below if you would like me to come up with some sort of diy harry potter ornament this month i will try to make that happen but yeah this is the tree I think it came out so well. I'm very excited. Oh, you guys can see over here too. We have like our little, I call this Who Corner. Here's our little TARDIS village too. Who Corner. It's not, I collect TARDIS, but obviously I don't have 
that many. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed our Harry Potter tree. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. It really like, it's, it, it's nothing like I thought it was going to be. You know, you have these ideas in your head and then you get things together and you're just like, um, I'm going to have to scrap everything. And I had had to scrap everything, but I think it came out for the better. Um, so look for a Disney tree video coming up very, very soon. But with that being said, I am off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you'd like to keep hanging out and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.